SEA students get a special visit. Tobago's first marathon runs off later this month and a new presiding officer elected. Info update. Bringing you the latest news, views and, and reviews. reviews. Along with responses, comments and events affecting you. Brought to you by the Information Division of the Tobago House of Assembly. Some of Tobago's SEA students got a special visit ahead of their big day tomorrow. Joe Zambrasi has the story. Students of the North Regional SDA Primary School are gearing up to write this year's secondary entrance assessment exam, SEA, tomorrow. And they got a special visit from the Chief Secretary, Mr. Orville London. Mr. London shared a few words of encouragement with the students for their big day. I have a great admiration for the achievements of this school and its students over the last many years. Your students have always excel both from the academic and from the, the social perspective and what perspective means the way in which they do things and most of them have gone on to secondary school and have done well. Mr. London says students from the North Regional SDA Primary School have excelled at SEA exams on several occasions and have shown that they consistently do well in the exam. He says he has no doubt that they will perform well again in 2016. And therefore I want you all here to understand the history of your institution, to understand how other students who sat in the same classrooms that you have sat in, who sat here in this same church and listened to me speak, and who went on to do their C examinations, how well they have done. And I'm saying to you that there is no difference between them and you. The Chief Secretary also visited SES students from five other primary schools, Mason Hall Government Primary School, St. Andrew's Anglican, Scarborough Methodist, Scarborough SDA, and Scarborough Roman Catholic. I'm Josan Brassi for Info Updates. The island is about to have its first marathon. Here's Caroline Wallace with the details. It starts from 5 a.m. on May 22nd at the Rainforest Reserve near Bloody Bay and heads through to Roxborough before coursing through Bell Garden and Hope. From there, through Scarborough and finally at Petit True Beach at Little Rockley Bay, is where the Sea to Sea Marathon will end. The 26.2-mile race will have a number of benefits. It's geared towards enhancing Tobago's sport tourism thrust, and it's certified by international sporting bodies. The Association of International Marathons and Distance Races, AIMS, and the International Association of Athletics Federation, IAAF. It's not the only race on the weekend. For those who prefer the shorter distances, a half marathon is scheduled for 5.30 a.m. beginning at Goodwood. Preceding those events on May 21st, the organizers, C2C Events Limited, will host a 10K at Bacolet from 4.30 p.m. and a 5K at 4 p.m. starting at Scarborough. So far, close to 500 people have already registered for the race, which is being supported by various divisions of the Tobago House of Assembly. I'm Caroline Wallace for Info Update. There's a new presiding officer at the Assembly Legislature. Omadara Mills brings you this report. Former clerk of the Tobago House of Assembly, Vanessa Cutting Thomas, was sworn in last Thursday as presiding officer of the Assembly Legislature. Mrs. Cutting Thomas replaces Mr. Kelvin Charles, who served as presiding officer for the last three years. Mr. Charles resigned from the position on April 28th. Cutting Thomas was nominated by the Chief Secretary of London at last Thursday's plenary session. Her nomination was seconded by Leader of Assembly Business, Assemblyman Claudia Groom Duke, the Secretary of Health and Social Services. I'm Omodara Mills for Info Update. That's it from all of us at the Department of Information. I'm Davia Chambers and you've been listening to Info Update.